Hey, this is Aaron with SimpleTix.com. In today's video, we're gonna make a complete event page for a trade show. We're gonna have general admission of tickets for attendees, as well as a vendor page where vendors can see the full floor plan and grab an individual booth. All right, let's dive in. If you haven't already created a SimpleTix site, that will be your first step. Okay, let's create our first event. This will be the general admission event for attendees. I'll put in my event title here and I'll choose my venue. If you haven't created your venue yet, you can create your venue here. And this will be a class and workshop and now I'll put my event details in. I can modify this text as much as I'd like. All right, now I grab an image to upload for our event here. Drag and drop it right in. And now I'll click next. And now we'll set our event date. Let's make this far in the future. And this will be an all day event that will start at eight o'clock in the morning. So I'll choose 8 a.m. here. And I'll say it ends around um, 6 p.m. All right, and we can modify it this time as well. All right, now it's not a reserved seat mode. I'll turn the LED that says no. But for our next event where the vendors will pick booths, we'll turn this on as yes. Now we'll click next. And now we'll put our ticket types in. So the first one will be general admission. The maximum um, tickets we'll allow is 500 and the ticket price will be $30. And we'll pass over our credit card cross product processing fees and our civil tax fees to the customer. So let's click this button here to do that. All right, now let's make a ticket type for students. And the students will, do a, will offer a pay as you wish option where they can pay um, a minimum of $10, but they like to pay more, they totally can do that. And I'll say there's a maximum of um, 200 tickets for students. And we'll pass on the credit card processing fee as well on that one. All right, now I'll click done. And now we've created our event. Um, we'll set up our payment gateway a little bit later. I'll close this for now. Um, so here's our event details. I can go ahead and see them right here on the event details screen and um, event times. If I click event times, I can see all of my different ticket types. So for example, if I want to make changes to say students, and if I want to say something special here, like um, must have a valid student ID, just to let people know they have to have that student ID so they can't sneak in with that. And um, if you want to say the overall event capacity is um, 500, we can put that in here. Now keep in mind, when you say 500 here, We'll always respect that amount, and we'll also respect these amounts too. So for example, if you sold 499 general admission tickets, well automatically the students will be capped with one more ticket remaining, pretty much for both. So we'll never oversell it. Pretty much the event capacity, the amount you could possibly have is 500. All right, so I will click Save here. And now we've made our general admission event. So if I go over to Dashboard, um, I will get the URL for this page. If I just copy here. And here's our event page. If I click buy tickets, you can see the two different ticket types. One is general admission and the other one is students. And a student can put in you know, any amount that they want with a minimum of $10 there. So if they wanna pay $15 and get two tickets, they can do that. All right, now let's create our vendor booth map. So I will go over to events and I'll create a brand new event right now. And for our event name, we'll give it the same, but we'll say the word vendors here in the URL, in the event title. It'll be the same venue. And we can drop in the same image for this one as well. All right, we'll click continue. And we'll choose the exact same event time as before. And now it's important that we choose this is reserved seating where customers can choose their own seats. And when it says seats there, we also mean booths. All right, let's go ahead and put, pick two categories. The first one will be prime, um, prime, which will be the more expensive booths. Um, and we'll make them $500. And we'll pass over our credit card fees like before. And we'll say um, standard booth. And these will be $300 each. Now, if we wanna make it really simple where people just click the booth and pay one price, we can do that. But if we wanna say that standard, well, it's a lower price. Let's actually drop it to 200. But if they wanna pay extra for electricity, they can. So basically we can have two different um, ticket levels for standard, but we'll say prime includes electricity if we want to. 
All right. And we'll say a ticket starts um, immediately, but we want to cut off ticket sales a month before the event. Um, so the event is July 31st. Let's cut it off on the first of the month. All right, I'll click next. And now we'll build our seating chart. All right, the first thing I'd like to do is um, grab a rectangle and I'll just say this is the entrance right here. So I'll make a little rectangle right there. I'll click here and I will say this is the entrance right here. Well, let's go ahead and put our booths in now. So I click the option right here to create booths. Let's go ahead and create our first booth. And I'll create a few in a row just like this. The first one will be the prime booth. So I'll go ahead and select it and I'll say this is prime. And then the last one will also be prime because it's the end caps, but the ones in the middle will be standard. So I'll go ahead and select those and also choose standard here. And it'll be the same for both sides. So I'll go ahead and select all. And there's an option here to duplicate them. I'll click that and I'll move them just like this over here. Awesome. And if I want to do that again, I can do this and I'll click duplicate. And now I'll move this over here. Just like this. And I can also clone them within the, as well. All right, our next step is to label them. So I'll click the first one right here and I will give it a label of one. It's already labeled actually. This will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. And over here, um, so this will be eight over here. Let's call this one nine. So click here and I'll change this right now. All right, so just set all the labels, and we are good to go. Um, if I want to increase the size on the end, ca end caps, we can do that as well, too. So for example, let's say it's um, 75 and 75. I can totally put that in right here. Sometimes it's easier to type it on these. Okay, so our very last step is to set something called a focal point. I'll go ahead and click publish. If you want to add more things on here, like let people know where the bathrooms are, you can totally do that. So I'll put the bathroom symbol here and over here if we'd like to. All right, so we put our stage in there as well too. And um, we're all done, so I'll click publish one more time. And now I will click save and perfect. So we're all set. So on the very bottom of the page here, I will click the create my event button. And now our vendor booth chart has been created. Let's go ahead and check it out. So here's our vendor booth page, all about um, information for our vendors. I'll click buy tickets. And here's where they can see you know, all the different booths that are available. The standard booth, like we talked about before, has two different ticket prices. So just the standard bare bones is 200, but if you want electricity, it's an extra $50. So they can see it right there. And um, the prime booth has just one price. So if you click it, it adds it to your card automatically. One thing that we'd recommend doing is if you have the vendor page over here, I would recommend hiding it so that attendees don't see it. So what you can do is on the very bottom of the page, it says a, make it a private event. I would turn, turn that off and make it a private event. Um, while you're here too, if you have a 6% sales tax, you can totally put that there and it'll charge the sales tax as well. The reason why you want to make it a private event is you might email this link here directly to your vendors. That way they can buy the tickets and that way the customers don't see that event on your event page. Now I'll go back to events and here's the other event rate we already created. Um, this is the main event. Now if you'd like to embed this directly on your website, you can do that. Go to embed. And over here is the embeddable widget and you can embed this directly on your website. Just click here to copy the code. 
All right, well, thanks for watching our video today on how to create a trade show event with Simple Six for both general admission attendee tickets as well as vendor booths.